Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glorification to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bashem, Hamashiach, Kamalak, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the name of his beloved Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whom is the Savior of the nation of Israel. It's Brother Malachi out of the W of Detroit camp. Coming at you with another cold cut through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And the source is endtimeheadlines.org. And it reads, huge flock of birds seen mysteriously dropping dead in mid-flight, leaving authorities baffled. So Earth is mourning, as it states in the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 3. And this is all due to the wickedness of the so-called white man by way of polluting the air, destroying the ecosystem, destroying the animals, the vegetations, and the irrigations thereof. Destroying everything, as it states in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 18. Why? Because he's the devil on the earth. The scriptures say the thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and destroy in the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 10. And we know the thief is the so-called white man, according to Leviticus, chapter 6, and verse 4, because he stole this land from the Native American Indians, slaughtered off the Negroes, made us to build his economy and infrastructure, so on and so forth. And we receive none of the benefits. Also, it states that in the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1, they covet fields and they take it by violence. So everything is destroyed under the rule of the so-called white man, including the animals in the ecosystem. So let's go into it. It's saying, what is known, the second mass bird die off in days. Authorities are struggling to explain a viral video showing a huge flock of birds suddenly and mysteriously dropping dead mid-flight. Security footage shows close to 100 yellow-headed blackbirds migrating from northern Canada to Mexico for the winter, crashing to the ground in the northern Mexico city of Chihuahua, right? And Salaki, if I'm pronouncing this wrong. It's a, the incident took place on the morning of February 7th Local police investigated the scene and confirmed they had found hundreds of dead birds. El Harado D. Chuhaya reported that local residents called the police after they came across dead birds on their roads and paths. So this is end time news right here. This is something that you see on an apocalyptic movie. This is, you, you see the birds kind of flying they migrate into their appointed place and they kind of drop dead mid-air. Let's get that in the book of Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 7, because the scriptures speak about how the fowls of the air migrate. This is Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 7. It reads thus, Yea, the stork in heaven know of her appointed times. Now a stork is a fowl that flies in the air. Okay, let's look up a stork to give Israel a visual. Our people are a visual people. So this is a stork. It's a bird. You understand? So the stork in heaven, nor for appointed times, meaning the stork and the fowls and the birds thereof, they know when to migrate, when it's time to do so. And it reads, and a turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord. So the Israelites don't know the judgment of the Lord. Here it is, you got these different animals. They know the judgment. They know when it's time to make moves on the earth. But the Israelites, we don't know when it's time to repent, keep the commandments of the Most High. We can't understand and fathom the judgments of the Lord because we are stiff-necked people. It also states that in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It reads, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Understand? So these two dumb, illegitimate animals, they know who they belong to and where they come from, but the Israelites don't. Now. And that's due to stiff neck, rebellion, 
and wickedness, as it states in Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 24, Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11, Baruch chapter 1, verse 19, right? But going back to the point of this video, it shows that we are living in the end times. Let's get Matthew, the 24th chapter. So like, let's get Luke, the, we can get the, the 21st chapter, switch it up. Luke chapter 21 and verse, uh, seven. And they asked him saying, master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? So you have the signs spoken about in the scriptures. And this is how we know, so like this is how we know we live in the end. This is how we know that the Most High is about to visit the earth, which he created because he's showing forth the signs, the tokens. Let's get that at Second Edges chapter 7, verse 26. If you see this and you just say, oh, this happens every day, then you don't know what's going on because this doesn't happen every day. These are strange events that's taking place on the earth. This is Second Edges chapter 7, verse 26. Behold, the time shall come that the tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass, and the bride shall appear, and she coming forth shall be seen that now is withdrawn from the earth. So the Lord said, the tokens which I told thee shall come to pass. And the tokens represents the signs and the prophecies that are happening on the earth. In 2022, things are going on. Tension between Russia and Ukraine, which is going to issue in World War III through the spirit. So all these things are happening. You get wars, rumors of wars. We are living in the fourth seal, man. That's why you got people getting put to death left and right. Hey, 2021, Philly had about 600 murders, man. So these things aren't average things that happen every day. It's a lot of wickedness and the whole earth is under the vibration of the spiritual demon Satan. Wickedness is increasing on the earth and that's due to it being the last times. Let's get that in um, Second Edges chapter five. Second Edges chapter five and verse eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places. So this is a confusing thing right here, man, to see birds drop dead in mid air. That's confusion. So it say there shall be confusion also in many places and the fire shall be often sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. So say the wild beasts shall change their places. That's, you know, that's talking about their physical habitation. Places pertaining onto that matter. That's why you got deers in the middle of the city. You had a damn moose walking the highway in Alaska a couple years ago. Right. So you got wild beasts changing their places, but also their mindset and their mind frame is changing. This is not the behavior of birds. So this goes to show you that something isn't right. Something has happened. Something is taking place, man. And what's taking place, the end of the world, the signs and the tokens that the Lord spoke about in the scriptures. And salt water shall be found in the sweet. And all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself and understand and withdraw itself into a secret chamber. Verse 10. And shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. Right? So, like it. so the point is, the scriptures say unrighteousness and incontinency shall be multiplied upon the earth. Now, incontinency is going into sin. That's what the word incontinency means. It means sin. So sin is being multiplied on the earth. That's why you got people getting put to death. You know, you got women getting raped. You know, it's all hell breaking loose out here, man. Right? And every time you leave the house, that's why we tell you Israelites, you must be praying, fasting, right? Become one with the Lord. Keep these commandments because judgment is getting handed out especially among the Israelites, as it states in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, judgment must first begin at the house of the Lord. Okay? So this is how we know we're living in the end times. 
So let's go ahead and play the video. See that? Let's grab Hosea chapter four, verse three. So the earth is mourning. Let's get Hosea chapter four and verse three. It's the book of Hosea chapter four and verse three. And it reads thus, therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. See that? So Hosea was prophesying about these times. All the prophets of old prophesied about the end. Even Moses himself prophesied about the end times. That's in 2nd Edges chapter 14 and verse 1. So the Lord through the prophet Moses stated, so like it through the prophet uh, Hosea stated that the birds and the fishes will be taken away as well. This is second Edges chapter 14, verse one. And it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me and said, Edris, Edris. And I said, here am I, Lord. And I stood upon my feet. Then said he unto, the, unto me, in the bush, I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses and talk with him when my people served in Egypt. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt and brought him to the Mount of Sinai, where I held him by me a long season and told him many wondrous things and shewed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him saying, these words shalt thou clear, declare and these words shalt thou hide. See that? So the Lord showed Moses the end times and the great tribulation that'll take place on the earth in the latter days. So this is Deuteronomy chapter four and verse 30. It reads, when thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shall be obedient to, the, to his voice, for the Lord thy God is a merciful God. See that? So Moses saw the end times, just like Hosea did, right? So he said the birds and the fishes also shall be taken away. And we just seen it in this video when these birds were migrating from Canada to Mexico for the winter, they dropped dead at the border, man. See that? So also get Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. <clears throat> and it reads, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that thou shouldest be, should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name, small and great, which are the Israelites and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. See that? So the Lord is going to destroy the men who destroyed the earth. And the man who destroyed the earth is the so-called white man. Case in point. That's why these birds are dropping dead. You got damn seals being washed up to the shore. Whales, sharks thereof. All hell breaking loose. The uh, ecosystem is jammed up. It's not operating properly. The earth is languishing. The earth is becoming weaker and weaker. And that's due to the reign of the so-called white man.
All right, so we're going to close it out with Sirach. Most high willing, Sirach chapter 10 and verse 2, and Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Sirach chapter 10 and verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in the authority, the city shall be inhabited. So the scriptures say an unwise king destroyeth his people, and not only his people, but also his cattle and the animals that dwells within his kingdom. And I believe that's in Proverbs 12 and 10, if I'm not mistaken. Con, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10, a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. And Esau is a cruel man because he got all kind of uh, fumes and biological warfare raging against the people of the earth, which in turn destroy the animals of the earth. You understand? So let's also get Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And again, not only the people, but also the birds, fowls, and um, the, 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 uh, the irrigation, the vegetation. In nature in general, mourns due to Esau ruling unjustly. And um, I'm also, matter of fact, let me get Hosea chapter 11. It's the spirit, man. A lot of precepts. Let's get Hosea chapter, so like Isaiah chapter 11 and verse uh, 9. It say, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And um, right, scriptures say, since thou art laid, no feller have come upon thee. I believe it's Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and 7. It say the whole, this is when Esau gets put out of the earth and destroyed. They say the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. So even nature and the earth itself is going to rejoice once Esau is put out of the way, once he's taken down, once his tree is cut down and destroyed and scattered, right? The earth is going to rejoice because it's going to be at rest. Scriptures speak about a land Sabbath. The earth is going to be able to get its land Sabbaths, right? The trees are going to be able to grow strong and prosperous without a damn feller coming upon it, chopping down the trees to make luxurious homes, right? The birds are going to have fresh air. The fishes and the creatures of the sea are going to have fresh water. And they're not going to worry about being oppressed by the so-called white man. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Hamashiach, Malaki, Yahusha. Lord, willingness was edifying lesson. Shalom.